just as crazy as Zach. Not showing at the party. <laughs> you doing this for you. This ain't what you want. He calling your bluff, sis. Belinda, a scammer. Zach, you wildin'. You can't even be picking the wrong fights for people. I send Belinda's tribute. Happy birthday, Tayshia. You've moved past protecting Fatima. This is gonna be in this constant state of you, then me, then you, then me. That's wild. What up, loves, and welcome back to another episode of From Rizzo with Love. With me, your girl Donna Rizzo. As we're here to recap the finale of Zatima on BET Plus, season three, part A. Y'all, that means we are wrapping up episodes nine and 10. If this is your first time here, I actually split up the episodes into two different recaps because they are their own individual bites. So for those people who are watching the show, like not in real time with us, but are watching episode by episode, they can engage and watch these recaps episode and episode as well. If you are watching them back to back, feel free to jump in and watch these recaps back to back as well. Make sure you definitely answer all of these questions before 3B, which I don't actually know when it's going to hit, but someone did just tell me that they released the trailer for it. And I, you know, I mistakenly saw the trailer that y'all sent me for 3A. I won't be looking at the trailer for 3B because I felt like it gave a little too much away. The good thing for me is that I'll see so much TV and I forget everything that's happening that I didn't quite remember everything that was going down on the trailer. So this was all a very new experience for me. I will also say... Sisters and Zatima are happening at the same time for me. As of now, there will be a gap between 3A and 3B for Zatima, but I'm getting confused. And no one called me out. So big ups to y'all. I don't know if you saw it. But if you go back to my Sisters Season 8, Episode 3 recap, you will notice that the little watermark that I put there is not for Sisters. It's for Zatima. Yep. I am editing and recording so many different shows that I am forgetting <laughs> which watermark. You know, the thing that I really try to think about is like, yo, let me make sure I'm doing the right color. Because if you guys go to my Instagram, it's the same name from Result with Love. Same on TikTok. You'll see that I have different color schemes for every season and for every show. So if I'm doing multiple shows at once, I got to remember, okay, this is the green. This is the purple. This is the red. And that's what I've been really trying to stick to. And lo and behold, I done put the damn wrong watermark. But thankfully after these two, well, Lord Jesus, hopefully I don't put sisters here. But thanks for not calling me out if anybody saw it. Okay, we're not gonna spend too much time talking about this past episode and what I think might be happening because last episode was so good. Minus the surf from Zach off of the damn steps to save Fatima, but there were shots that rang out from the top floor. We know that those came from Jeremiah's vicinity. Did Jeremiah shoot at Zach? Did Jeremiah shoot because he heard a bunch of noise downstairs? Did Jeremiah find Belinda's gun that she has safe in her home and then shoot everything? Did he shoot himself? Did he shoot a neighbor? Did neighbors shoot in because they heard... There's so many open items and predictions and things that could happen. I'm not exactly sure where this is going, but Belinda, you are already on our list. If it turns out that Jeremiah used the gun in your house that you own because it's not safely secured away, yes, you don't have children, but still, if it turns out to be that, we all you up. If it turns out that we're losing Jeremiah, who is such a great actor, Amir Baraka, who's such a great actor, yes, is on the line. And I know you could fight because you got a tattoo that goes up to Sonia, buddy. I know you, okay? Also, bear with this hair, y'all. I did the cut. The last video made it look like I ain't had no hair, but these are layers. <laughs> yeah. All right, y'all, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, as I said on the last one, I hope you guys had an amazing Halloween. Uh, I, I am back in New York. I'll be back in Atlanta in a couple weeks to redo what we were doing down there. But um, here we are. Let's get into this Tyler Perry Zatima on BET Plus, season three, episode nine. Let's go. <laughs> also... I've been staying away from the comments. I told you guys because I'm not caught up on Zatima. But this n was wild in last episode. To know that you have that in you, 
Nobody can talk you off of that physical damage edge. Knowing that you are threatening me, you are threatening women, you are throwing things, you're break. That's a big problem. I don't work with you through a lot of this other shit. But physical violence is a hard line for me. For team, I'm gonna tell you right now because I know this show is gonna go on. You a better woman than me, sweetheart. Hell, Jeremiah is shooting. Him. Go talk to him. I sent Belinda's tribute. Oh, no, <laughs> Wait, he was telling Angela go talk to him? Must be my gun, y'all. I told you that was her gun. And that final shot, he better not have shot himself. No, no, what, what, you did? Yes. Yo, I can't be here. He can't be around other felons? I got you. <laughs> He's doing a bear crawl. Is this or us? Love ain't perfect. Is this or us? Like if you go up there, I'm coming with you and both of us gonna die? Or don't go up there because you better choose us? Which one did she mean? What would I want my man to do in that situation? Uh, Let's all get the fuck out. <laughs> Jeremiah can deal with Jeremiah later. We don't fuck play with guns we will pow pow stab stab all day but baby girl baby boy we don't do the pew pews well, Tima, come on, time, who's shoe is that doing? angela I'm trying to be better. the one moment that she needs the gun is because gary remember gary and his goons took her gun from her zach you wildin that's what you worried about right now we could have died and you worried about this still in your shit this is the way you want to live? Huh. To do without me. Ha huh, ha. Huh. Remember in the last episode, he said, I'm doing this for Fatima. That's what he said to Mr. Tyrone. Fatima didn't want none of this shit. And look at you. You think you breaking shit for Fatima as she's over here yelling, Zach, stop? You doing this for you. Why you have cash in your house like that? She lying. She lying. Belinda a scammer. Yeah, I'll, I'll get my lawyer to look it up. So y'all did decide to move forward with looking at the contract without Zach. Rodeo, don't let him influence you negatively here. So after demolishing Shorty's house, after getting shot by your brother, shot at by your brother, night you didn't get shot. You said, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go to the office. I need a minute. Clearly. No, dude, I'm not. Come on, man. I need you to leave. We 50 50 partners in this business. We both own this suite. How you telling me to leave? All right, I guess this is your one. Everybody gets one because I understand, you know, emotions. This is your one, baby boy. You're not gonna tell me to leave my space more than once, though. Okay. I did steal 1.5 mil. You're okay. Oh my gosh. No, okay. no. Look, we're gonna go to a bar. We're gonna have a drink or two. Guys, help me out. I don't understand this. I don't come from a drinking family. No, lies. <laughs> yes, I do. I don't come from a drinking parents. So maybe it's me, but I don't understand this. Hey, let's go grab a drink. His emotions are heightened right now. He's at a drink or two. Are we trying to get this man drunk? Like, isn't that the opposite of what we want? Because he, it's up. Okay, help, help me out, please. And whatever you need, I'll be waiting in the hallway. There you go. That's what friends are. It's gonna be all right. Don't let him overhear you over here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. nigga. Take this. Yeah. Okay. Tomorrow's fine. Why are you looking like that, Preston? Shit. Preston is finally realizing that like Bryce is a good friend. Also, I like that Bryce saw that. Preston also left Zach alone. So it wasn't just isolated to him. Zach needed some time. He didn't feel comfortable with you, but he also didn't feel comfortable with Preston there. He needs alone time. So I'm glad Bryce saw this moment. Take that f***ing date off too. Oh my God, it's the Deja party. Oh, this is blocking his driveway. Cause you know if I have to go in there? Yeah, please don't. Is it illegal to have parties? Did you sign a contract? when you move next door about like noise ordinance. If not, then I'm paying rent and um, I'm at my party. What the hell? Not Sean at the party. <laughs> you know, Deja, this is great. So what is my birthday? Girl. Happy birthday, Deja. And I should take your man. Oh, she gonna throw that drink in her face? 
Oh, she's just gonna spill it. Why are you getting big and bad with her, but you're not getting big and bad with Belinda? Belinda literally tried to sleep with your man, and that's your friend. This shorty tried to sleep with your man, but she ain't got no loyalty towards you. I feel like Fatima be picking the wrong fights with people. Get out of here. Oh. Shut the fuck up. Everybody gonna leave now? Y'all little hey. How you pop the balloon? What you popping the balloon with? No. She no. just as crazy as Zach. My nigga, I'm suing you. Or I'm not paying rent for at least, I don't know how many months. Because you don't want me to take your wife to jail. Also, my nigga is pregnant right now. You think it's in your best interest of you and that child to be fighting somebody? Fatima. Fatima, why you, why you, why, why? You my girl, Fatima? Oh, damn. This is so weird. Sh she got cake all in her hair. She called you a bitch. Deja, lock your door. Don't do our nuts. This is a very volatile relationship. <laughs> She can't. She wildin'. Can you imagine if you're a cop and you were the cop that saw them at Belinda's house and then you're the same cop that comes to see them at Shorty's house here? Can you just imagine that? You sure seem like you scared of her. Fatima, how you gonna get mad at Zach for doing that and you about to do the same Angela is you in this situation and you just Zach. I don't know if y'all deserve each other or y'all both need to go to individual counseling. No. Fatima. No, Fatima, calm down. See, both of them, I mean, I know I'm stating the obvious, but both of them are taking out their anger about other situations on other people. Like none of this shit is healthy. Angela, I hope you refer her to her therapist too. Oh, look, my therapist just happens to be here. Bryce said, please don't tell him I told you. Me. Bryce gave me his number. Thanks. Do your therapists just show up in person when you call them? Like at a bar? No, right? This is weird. Yeah, okay, okay. It's almost like he's AA and he pops up like to save you. But no. It's been against you since birth. Okay. And then I want you to look at how you made it through them all. Batting a hundred percent. No batting pun intended. This has escalated to a place that is going to cause an issue between you and her. Yeah. Cause at this point you've moved past protecting Fatima. This is now all on you and proving a point. So are you really willing to throw all that away to prove a point to Jeremiah? This don't care. You can't get through to this crackhead heroin addict guy right now. You are going to be fighting so hard to try to prove something to someone who can't even comprehend. What lengths are you really going to go through to push that in them just for them to get high five minutes later and forget everything you said? Like, what's the real purpose of this? This is where those moments hit for me where nothing is going to hurt harder than not having you in my life. You're going to wake up one day and you're going to feel alone. You're going to feel cracked out. You're not going to have no food. You're not going to have no money. And you're going to regret pushing me out. And that right there is going to be enough for me. Because you did it to you, not me. You cannot handle things the way you once did when you know how far you've come. Let me tell you how real this is, y'all. Let me tell you how real this is. Without saying too much, I was put in a professional, I was in a professional environment where someone disrespected me almost to a point where it got physical. In that moment, I had to compute in that very moment. I had to do such quick computation of like, is this how I wanna be represented? Is this how I want to be perceived in this professional television light? Is this how I want my name to be branded on here? Is this how I want people to remember me? Is this how I want these employers to remember? You know what I'm saying? I had to do all of that because my natural instinct is when I am physically threatened or when I feel somebody close to me, you know, talking too loud in my face to then get physical right back. Like that is my immediate natural reaction. And I think I told y'all before too, like I'm the type of person before, like when I'm in fights, I cry, I get so emotion filled that like my, I'm fine. I'm like punching and tearing up at the same time. I'm like candy burst. And so in that moment I am sitting there 
And after, you know, things die down a little bit, I just get the feeling and the emotion just swells up with tears. And that's how I know that emotion, my natural reaction did not leave. It was still very present. But the way in which I had to think and fight back on how I handled that situation was very calculated. And I'll tell you to this day, I still wrestle with that. I still wrestle with it, y'all. But Zach, in different environments, you got to say, do I have more to lose here than I have to gain? I get it. How could you possibly get it? I'm not from some white collar neighborhood. Oh, Zach, everybody don't gotta be a thug to know what it's like to wanna f somebody up. You ain't the toughest n out, Zach. The way the streets taught you or what you've now become. The issue with Zach is he didn't have like a slow progression into this white collar world. He was literally picked up out of blue collar, thrown into white. He's not used to having money on the line. <laughs> Not that it's all about money, you but you know. You have to lose. Now, if she means no, I need this to learn. It'll all be worth it. Trust me. That's that bad mentality. Calm down. I get it. It's tough, Zach. Let me tell you, from one booger to another, it's tough. That sh** live with you. It is. Maybe every time you see Jeremiah, you might want to have that on-site moment. You might wake up one day on a random Tuesday and be like, I should have fucked up when I see him. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have moments like that. And it just is what it is. Three hours, so you just got a free session. Yeah. But <laughs> Facts of free session. I still don't really know what I'm going to do. Like, I get mad fucking thinking about it. Knowledge. Zach, I get it. No, I can't let him slide because of that. Come on. But Am I the problem? God is, is always working on me. To this day. Well, it is with Zach. Mm, it shouldn't be this hard. Well, it is with Zach. Again, you know me. If you are willing to go through that hard, do you, boo? If somebody watching this says, could never be me, do you, boo, boo? Be hard. I tell you, I mean, I ain't trying to get too personal, but you work on the because you want to work on. You know what I'm saying? Convince yourself it's worth it. I know, Angela. I don't need you to remind me. Yeah, girl. You putting your baby at risk. Both of y'all, really. I mean, all the men you got in and out of your thing, and you don't know how to commit. What are you talking about? Ooh, now we diving into her. First of all, hold up. You talking to me about your situation. You expect me not to say nothing, and now you get mad when I do respond, and now you coming at me? Ooh. What you gotta say? But yeah, let's talk about Angela. What you gotta say? Always have something to say about the sex, but none of y'all got a man. Ooh! Wow. Not you boasting about the who is trying to f his brother up, who just destroyed our other friend's house. <laughs> yeah, you ain't got a man, nigga. This the man you bragging on? Look, sometimes I just, I just need you to listen. Can we talk about that? Is that what we should be doing in friendships? Because I feel like there's extremes. There's extremes of every time I bring something up, you say the same shit. Zach then, Zach then, why you ain't with him? You know what I'm saying? Every single time. Since you know every time you bring it up, I'm going to stay I'll stay with him and I'm going to talk to you about some other things. We're going to get back together and it's going to be lovey dovey, happy go lucky, the end. So you saying things about him every time might not be great. Now the other side is, if I'm doing some dummy shit and you just sit back and you like, that's the extreme. I am right here now at this point in life. I remember I used to be at a point where my friend would do some dummy shit and I'm like, you dummy. And my friend would be like, sometimes I just want to talk. You being stupid. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you doing stupid shit and I can't hang around stupid people. It's different if you are in relationship with this person and you've decided to commit and both of y'all are here and nobody's heard and all that good stuff. That's different than dummy. You know what I'm saying? Can't have no dummy friends. But at this point in my life, I got friends who do dummy shit and I say it once right now, if they're continuing with a person versus it's just dummy shit, a bunch of people. If you're deciding to continue with one human being, I tell you once, here's how I feel. 
You want some dummy. This got a bitch. If you comfortable with that, that's your choice. But you stupid. You deserve more than being a side bitch. This bitch you, you stupid. My house is going to be here. But don't bring me into this situation acting like I'm going to go out to dinner with y'all. We not doing no couple shit when this n is stupid. You know what I'm saying? And you stupid. So I'm going to say that once. Just so you know. Because I know there's going to be a fall. And as your girl, I'm going to be here to support you on that fall. You're going to always know how I felt about this situation. But what you don't need is a I told you so type friend. You need a friend who if she falls and it happens to be what she says it is. You know that you can go to her because she will be there to support you no matter what. That's the kind of friend I am now. I also am not a friend of, oh, I'm dating this new guy. Like before I would be like, let me run through the research. Okay, his mama name is this. Here's what I found about his uncle, cousin, brother. Now I'm that friend. I might do that research on my own. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to still do that. But I'm not going to tell you. You find that out on your own organically in your relationship. You know what I'm saying? That's the friend that I have become later. Now in this situation, I do not fault Angela for responding. Fatima, you're almost talking to her and you're like asking her. It's weird that you would just want her to sit there and be like, nothing. You could talk to Siri if you want that. But for you to throw it at her and be like, well, you ain't even got no man. That's wild. There's ways to be like, hey girl, I'm just trying to get this out. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really trying to hear this back and forth. Let me just talk then you can't say shit cause you ain't got no relationship anyway. Like that's wild. Work through it. Oh no. You got enough drama for the both of us. You got I'm enough drama that. for three seasons, Angela. sis. Yeah, Fatima, you you handle that a little wild. Yes, we get that when she's the fan, Angela does run because she doesn't want to get serious. We get that that's in play here too. But come on, Fatima. Bye drama. Don't you have a home? Not bye drama. I'm mad about this whole thing. You. It's a reason I didn't tell you. And That's the reason. It's a reason why women do not tell men everything. Like. What else she not telling me? She did. Zach, I don't want she got that from falling. What she gonna do, Zach? Yeah, what, what you I gonna do? What, kill him? Beat him up and then what? How about you pray that I get tired first? You know what? I can't do this. This is a crazy. Okay. Oh. He don't you believe you, okay? sis. He calling your bluff, sis. He said, oh, you think so? I'm too good of a man. This relationship is too intense for you not to want it. If I kill a nigga, I'm going to ride. You going to do the 20 plus with me, sis? Hey, I don't think you do. He hear you. It's just leaving. All right. I'll be right there. He got some. He paid somebody off to f the nigga. Hey, take them hard bottoms off, sir. This ain't what you want, man. I'm not gonna comment on the clothes. Okay. Oh, he banged him against the brick. This shit is gonna end, my nigga. There's never going to be an end to this shit. I don't understand this, y'all. I don't understand this. He shots, shoots at you. You f him up. Next time he sees you, he gonna shoot at you because he ain't wrapped too tight. Then what happens? Then you f up again until somebody ends their lives so that it stops your ego is too big to ever take the l he's too up to ever take the l you're just going to be in this constant state of you than me than you than me until someone dies that's it that's your solution this shit, wow y'all i don't even know how does this even stop like what's the solution here and then the second question is I just need, I can't even think of a direct question here, but what are your thoughts about the Angela and Fatima conversation? Because clearly I have some strong opinions, but you know, I'm supposed to just listen and hear you guys out. The floor is yours. All right, y'all, thank you guys so much for joining me for this Tyler Perry Zatima season three, episode nine, the penultimate episode of season three A. I am going to roll right into this episode 10 to see how we end lord jesus i hope nobody dies or go to jail or get shot 
Oh my goodness. Y'all, please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And always remember that everything that I have said has been from Rizzo with love. Bye, guys.